5 Business Lessons You Can Learn From Drug Dealers. In today's video on Finance Value TV, we will be looking at business lessons you can learn from drug dealers. Although dealing drugs is illegal and very much against the law, many people still sell drugs because there is a large majority of people that will buy them, even if they are illegal. For example, Pablo Escobar was considered one of the richest people on earth, with a net worth of $30 billion, equivalent to $59 billion in 2020, from selling cocaine. Just because this method of business is illegal, doesn't mean that this form of business doesn't have lessons and principles that we can't learn from, and then apply to our other businesses in order to benefit ourselves. 1. Don't slack on the product. Create the best product in the market before your customers find it elsewhere. This is something that drug dealers often do. Once there is an established supplier who has the best product on the market, individuals will flock to that particular drug, ignoring all other sellers simply because that drug is the best. This is something that can be said for almost any business model. This is because the product is the most important part of business model out there, whether it be selling hot dogs or selling software. Your product is ultimately the thing that your customers want and will use. Therefore, if your product is the best in the market, the customers will use your product, simply because it is the best on the market. This is an important business lesson because many people who run businesses seem to put many hours into marketing and advertising, and wondering why their business is failing, but ultimately forgetting the one thing that customers actually use, the product. 2. Word of Mouth Marketing if your product is good, people will talk about it. Can you think of the last time you saw something and you just had to tell your friends about it? Do you remember having a great experience at a restaurant and later on tweeting about it? This is essentially word of mouth marketing. It's an organic way of spreading information which utilizes components of viral marketing, though unlike viral marketing, it spreads by more natural channels. Word of mouth is a free form of advertising or promotion just one reason it's so important. It's shared by customers and triggered by events the customer experiences. This event is something beyond what's expected. According to a Nielsen study, 92% of customers believe suggestions from friends and family more than they do advertising. This stat alone solidified the word of mouth use case. Word of mouth also doesn't stop after just one interaction. One person will tell another, and that person will someone else then that person will continue the chain and spread the word further, making it a great vehicle for exposure and distribution if used well. Of course, the same is true in reverse. Negative news can spread just as fast, but the essential benefit of word of mouth in the connected era is personal endorsement, which is not only more readily available, but is seen as significantly more valuable to modern consumers. 3. Freemium Business Model Give a little for free and have them coming back for more. Under a freemium model, a business gives away a service at no cost to the consumer as a way to establish the foundation for future transactions. The freemium business model allows users to utilize basic features of a software, game, or service, then charges for upgrades to the basic package. When done right, the freemium business model can help drive massive traffic to companies' websites offer a try-before-you-buy experience that overcomes user resistance to paying, and convert free users to paying customers. Dropbox is a master of this model. The company has 500 million registered users who receive 2 gigabytes of free storage. Once they exceed that capacity, however, customers are offered the option to upgrade to 1 terabyte for a monthly or annual subscription fee. With this model, Dropbox generated $1 billion in revenue in 2017 from 11 million paying individual and business users and continued to grow its user base. Obviously, someone pays the price for the free products. When companies can't convert enough users to paying customers, they suffer. Something we've witnessed with media companies such as The Guardian, The New York Times, Washington Post, and others, other companies may even fail. So, how can companies better position themselves to succeed in the freemium wars? 4. Control Supply By controlling the supply of the market, you can keep prices high. This is something that drug dealers do to keep profits high. 
when a drug is in short supply, this would mean that there when a drug is in short supply, this would mean that there is going to be a higher demand for it because there is less of that drug to go around. Meaning people are now willing to pay more for that same drug. In business terms, this is supply and demand. Supply and demand is an economic model which states that the price at which a good is sold is determined by the good supply and its demand. When the supply of a good is equal to its demand, known as economic equilibrium, it reaches a stable price which buyers and sellers can agree on. If the supply of a good is higher than its demand, then the price will drop. Various sellers will have to compete with each other by offering lower prices, which will in turn create more demand, until eventually the supply and demand equalize. When the supply for a good is greater than the demand, it is referred to as a surplus. If the demand for a good is greater than its supply, then the opposite will occur. Suppliers will increase their prices to earn more profit with the products they already have, until eventually the supply and demand reach an equilibrium at some peak price. When the demand for a good is greater than the supply, it is referred to as a shortage. 5. Eliminate the competition We are not condoning rubbing out your competitors in the mortal sense. We are suggesting you own your territory, whether it's the block, the city, or the entire country. Own your search engine results, own your vertical, and own your industry. Are you the only provider people think of when they need your offerings? What you need to do when running your business is not eliminate the competition in a literal sense, but eliminate them in terms of when anybody thinks about your business or industry, they immediately think of one or two business providers. For example, if we look at ride-sharing apps, instantly most people will think of two major names, Uber and Lyft. This is something that is repeatedly shown across multiple different industries. For example, the search engine business is dominated by Google. The electric car industry is dominated by Tesla. This needs to be your goal in business, because when you are in a position where your competition doesn't even matter, building your business and providing your services becomes much easier. What most people don't realize about business is that the top 2 or 3% in an industry will completely dominate the industry in terms of results. This needs to be where you operate at, or at least strive to operate at if you are planning on running a business or are currently running one. There are far too many businesses trying to beat their competition by focusing on have lower prices or just spending more on advertising. All things which are admirable, but foolish. So. How do we eliminate the competition? Make them irrelevant. The well-known book, Blue Ocean Strategy, covers this in more depth, but we will give you the abridged version. You simply make your competition irrelevant by providing a product or service so great that customers are simply drawn to it because it's the best, and then because it's the best. All other products simply become irrelevant. When your product is so good, it will eventually begin to sell itself. Have you ever had a product that you used and it was so good you simply just had to tell others about it? This is what you should be trying to achieve in business, because once you get there, it's much easier to sustain, grow, and keep providing value to customers. Closing Thoughts Whether you are a drug dealer or a Fortune 500 CEO, there are some business principles that are just consistent across every single industry you look at. And it's important to take lessons from each industry you view and then see how you can apply these lessons to your own industry, grow your business, and make your competition irrelevant. If you did enjoy this video, tell us in the comments section below what lessons you learned from watching this video, and we hope to see you around for more.